Hey guys, so this is number two it's called Focus. Got it on 11 17 23. And this is part of a larger series of words that I got in over 20 hours of prophecy. I'm going to get right to it. Read my words, shut off the world, pray fervently. I am your safety. I will keep these safe with their eyes on me. Focus on me. As things occur, do not look from side to side. Pray for the lost. Rest in me. Guard your eyes. Do not listen to man. Pray earnestly for your own protection. I am the Lord God Almighty. Who is like the Lord God Almighty? No one. And then I was given verses that I need to read. Um, again, I will put a copy of all the verses in the beginning here. And then I'm going to read through them in case you are more auditory. Number two's verses, Colossians 3, 2. Set your mind on things above and not on the things of this earth. Psalm 119, 37. Turn away my eyes from looking at worthless things and revive me in your way. Isaiah 26, 3. You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Philippians 4, 7 through 9. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Meditate on these things. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue, if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things, the things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, these do, and the God of peace will be with you. John 10, 27 to 28. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. Psalm 113, 4 through 5. The Lord is high above all nations, his glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God, who dwells on high? Psalm 91, 9 through 11. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the most high, your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. Acts 26, 18. To open their eyes in order to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God that they may receive forgiveness of sins and an inheritance among those who are sanctified by faith in me. So that's it. I hope that encourages you and I'll see you soon.